Disclaimer This video is for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt this at home. Vitiated how to will not be responsible because you decided to be a cheap ass and not hire professional. On with the show! How to make pot pie filling real easy. Pretty simple. You see how it looks? It's real easy. First thing you want to do, get three chicken breasts. Throw them in this pot. Fill with water up to almost to the three, two-thirds level. Just almost there. The max is two-thirds for this um, particular pot thing. So next thing you're going to want to do, after you filled it with water to that point and you got your chicken breast, you're going to want to take and liberally add Maggie's. I tend to like it. That's what I use. I didn't follow the directions on it because I've used it a lot. So I just add it to where I think it's going to taste the way I want it. And went from there. Next thing you're going to do is what I did. <laughs> Tony seasoning. And of course, I've been cooking for 20 years. And I didn't measure that either. I did it to taste. So I ballparked it, probably three tablespoons, four tablespoons, maybe a little more to my taste, so it worked out fine. So that was easy enough. Next thing you wanna do is come over here to your little pot thing, turn it on, and you got all these different settings. Go to soup and broth. Works perfect, you ain't gotta worry about it. Stick it in there, close it up, and hit that and set it for 30 minutes. Trust me, 30 minutes. And walk off. Let it go off and it does its thing. Then you open the lid, let it cool down just enough. Then you take this here, cornstarch, or whatever you want to use to thicken it up with. I use cornstarch. And follow the directions to a point. You'll understand why in a minute. So whatever the directions say, then you do it to that point. And did I measure it? Not really, but I have a ballpark about how much I put in there because I know how thick I wanted it. So I did eh, almost a cup for this size. But when you start mixing it and you follow the directions, it's all right. Then you dump it in there and then you set it back on into your um, crock pot, if you will. And because of mine, I hit saute. That way I don't have to have the lid on to do this because you need the lid off. And then you're gonna to wanna to stir this as it's cooking because it'll start sticking. And yeah, I know you're gonna be stirring this like crazy and then it doesn't seem like it's gonna to wanna to thicken up. Well, <laughs> this, it'll thicken up pretty damn quick because the next step I did, it works. And I've done a lot. So, you put to where how much you think, because you only get one shot at this. So if you want it really thick, you do it really thick. And you follow the directions to a point. All right, so I get to that. Next thing I do, frozen vegetables. I wasn't using them as far as cooking them, because this is gonna be reheated up later for dinners. So using cold vegetables ain't no big deal to me, whatever. It helps it cool down faster for me. So I used two and a half pounds and I dumped them in there and started stirring. So by the time the vegetables warmed up, it was already thick to where I wanted. Because that's how the game's played as far as trying to thicken it up. It's gotta be cool just enough to thicken up. If it's too hot, it'll never thicken up like it's supposed to. Somehow or another, it's gotta cool. And it's nothing to it. Pretty simple. 